Hello everyone and thank you for tuning into my channel. This is Shade39. I know you're looking at this and probably thinking, what is this hot mess on my head? I'm thinking the same thing. Okay, so I just got this in. It's a synthetic wig, the one I was waiting for. And it so much mimics another wig that I have. I'm one of those people that I purchase the same things. I purchase the same lipsticks half the time. And so it looks like one of the wigs that I already had that I had to cut. Um, anyway, the vendor is, um, well, basically it's an EE e. Wigs. And from what I'm looking at on here, uh, gosh, what is this? Kwadang Shangdang, I don't know. The company is Zihun Hair Company. But basically it came in a package like this, like most of their synthetic wigs come in. And it came in this little box compartment. And it came actually faster than my human hair wigs that I'm still waiting on, which is a straight um, wig that I told y'all was 24 inches and my kinky straight that I am still waiting for. They did send me a pair of lashes and um, they, they asked you to please give them five stars, which they didn't get from me. And then you get you um, some stocking caps, okay? So anyway, I didn't rate them all that great because, oh lord, it's a mess, it's a mess. Because they put on there that it came with baby hair, and it doesn't. So, of course y'all know how I am about my baby hair, so I had to actually cut some myself. And basically I have not, like, glued this down yet, so it looks a little bit raunchy right now it looks bad I know because I haven't really like done a whole lot of work you know with it but I'm gonna try to right quick because like I don't really like to use got to be glue gel on synthetic wigs um, the reason being is first of all I cut too much of the lace by accident I was just kind of rushing and not only that but um, with got to be glue gel it's not like ghost bomb where it sticks real fast and automatic you normally have to blow dry it to get it to stay like I already feel it's like unsticking so sometimes I use my ghost bond because uh, excuse the mess y'all I don't normally do it like this but um, just for the sake of just doing this review for you guys I'm just kind of hurrying up but yeah normally like I'll use my ghost bond because the ghost bond glue gives you an immediate when i say immediate stick it does like it hurry up and like dries real quickly so you have to be real fast with it because like if that's not how you want it i promise you you're gonna have to like lift it up and because it sticks with this one i would have to blow, uh, blow dry it and also like i said i rushed and I cut really way too much lace off, not thinking, you know, just moving a little too quickly. But anyway, uh, it did not come with baby hairs, you guys, and y'all know how I feel about that, okay? Y'all know, y'all know, y'all know, y'all know. So yes, I was like, this is just aggravating to me. So um, I'm gonna have to snip some more. Snip, snip, and snip. Because I'm trying to get it to lay. And I'm sorry, I'm using my toothbrush again. I do have another type of brush, as y'all all well know, that I invested in. But, like I said, just for the sake of just showing y'all, I'm just kind of using this right now. I know I made me some more. Let me look above y'all. Basically, I'm going to have to work with this one, just like I had to with the other one. I already see it. I already see it, you guys. I see it. It's going it's to have to be worked with. It's not, it's not going to, um, it's not going to be anything immediate. Just trying to let y'all know. 
so like i said before this looks just like a wig i purchased already i'm good for doing stuff like that i guess my eye just attracts the same things i notice that happens a lot like with my lipsticks i often get nude a lot because i love nude but unfortunately you know you can't wear nude with everything so what i probably do with this one and not so much this exact clip but just like a prettier type clip but i'll probably take my clip and just kind of wear it like this um i mean of course there are other ways but like i said i cut so much lace off without thinking you know like i said when i got the wig i was so upset because i didn't see any baby hair like i get really really pissed off with baby hair i do some people be like, well, that's not even serious, but I do. But, um, yeah, you see how the glue didn't lay down like it should because I don't have any blow dryer to use right now. I mean, I have one. I'm just saying accessible right now within my reach to show y'all. But, um, anyway, I, I'm going to work with it, y'all, and I'm going to give y'all an update on it. It's going to be right. It's going to be right. But, like I said, um... It didn't come with any baby hair it did try to mousse it i did several things and probably what i'm gonna do off camera is just take some more hair out and just kind of take my other brush not this one but the other one and just kind of have it going up like this and the same on this side and next time when y'all gonna see it y'all gonna be like okay now excuse all of this because i had another wig on earlier so i did use um my ghost bound glue and that's what that white chalkiness is but that's not you know any missing hair or anything like that that's just the the residue i guess you could say from the glue um it does have some shedding but it's a lot of hair you guys like i said this looks just like the wig i had already purchased before i think what made me get it again not knowing was that they pinned the wig up so just like this and i thought it's so cute okay but like i said it looks just like one that i remember chopping um but yeah so what i'm gonna do like i said off camera it's kind of just take this maybe cut it a little bit more and instead of using like my toothbrush i have the other one that is designed for you know when you want to make you some baby hair and i'm gonna probably have it going up in that kind of format um as far as the length is let me see what it says if i even remember I don't see it on here at all. I seriously don't. But I want to say, you guys, that I purchased it in a 24 inch, okay? So it's pretty long. Um, let me show y'all the back. This is a synthetic wig. It does have two combs to the side right here in the front and no combs to the back at all, just an adjustable strap. So that's even worse because I got to like, since I cut too much lace, do my best now to make sure this thing stays down if I'm going to wear it, you know. Um, like I said, it is a synthetic wig. I want to say it cost $34.99. Um, what I think is really strange though about this one is that this wig actually came before all of my human hair wigs. Not all of them, but two of them. And that's really, really weird because normally with synthetic wigs, they take about a month to get to you. This one took about a week and a half. So I don't get it. You know, I really don't. Um, so I definitely gave the vendor five stars on the shipping. But um, the only problem that I saw with the wig, well, there were two. The, it came with no baby hairs and they put that in there that it came with baby hair and it doesn't and then kind of like if i were to take this down oh gosh 
gosh, my eyes are irritated, excuse me. If I were to take this down, like there are certain places like right here where you can see the wefts. So I did let them know that, you know, you can see the wefts. So, you know, a lot of times, if you know, well, not a lot of times, if you're gonna wear it is, if you're gonna wear it and rock it, um, more than likely, you're gonna have to do a flip over method like this. Sort of like what I'm doing right now. Or you'd have to do like that pin up um, because the wefts are going to show. So if you don't want your weft showing, which I don't think you would, that is what you'd have to do, okay? Now, probably, um, what I'm gonna end up doing is probably layering it, knowing me. But like I said, it, it's cute, you know, like you, if I hadn't cut all that lace off as a pinup, you know, like you could wear it as a pinup. Um, but as you can see, I took a lot of lace off, so it's hard to just kind of like now try to lay it down and make it secure. And so therefore, probably the only way it probably will be able to be worn for me since I did that is like this, you know, like a flip over method. Um, all together though you guys it's soft very soft to the touch um it's a lot of hair lots and lots so even though i had all that shedding going on i don't miss it at all the wig doesn't miss it other than the weft area where you saw it which that probably should have been put there but you know like i said i'm gonna work on this wig you guys um and when I finish with it, just like I told y'all I was gonna work on that other one and it came through, when I finish with it, y'all gonna be like, oh hell, that's not the same damn wig. But it's gonna be the same goddamn wig, okay? It's just that I'm gonna make it look different. I will. So, you guys, like I said, excuse the chalkiness. That is not me losing edges. I have my edges, as you can see, they're all there. Um, it's just, that's from the um, ghost bond earlier with the, the human hair wig I had on my head. Um, you could probably also part it to the middle, but as you can see, it's a lot of hair. Um, I don't know, y'all. Like maybe, maybe doing like something like yeah maybe like that like braiding it and of course I'm still gonna make me some baby hair I just gotta get it to lace I'm gonna mousse my baby hair down tonight let it sit and lay really good really flat and by tomorrow it's gonna be looking totally different I'm scratching because all the hair that I've been like cutting is getting in between the crevices of my arms. So yes, I'm itching in that area for that purpose. But other than that, um, like I said, other than the wefts and the baby hair not being where it's supposed to, it's an okay wig for the price. Um, and to say the fast shipping, that's really awesome. Really, really awesome because I was like, why am I getting this one way before the human hair wigs this is ridiculous but like i said they want the extra 15 bucks and so that's you know strange to me that i got this one in way before the other ones but nevertheless you guys um i'm gonna make this wig work i know y'all probably saying it resembles that other wig that i had the human hair with, and it does it really really honestly does i said it was going to mimic it but this is actually a synthetic wig, you guys. It's synthetic. But trust me, when I finish with this one, y'all gonna be like, oh hell. I'm telling y'all, y'all gonna be like, she did a transformation with it. Because I'm gonna make it look good. I will. Like I said, right now, it's just a hot mess. But I'm gonna play with it off camera, just like I did the other one. It came through. You know, it came through, you guys. I know y'all remember that. 
And excuse me, forgive me, but I'm just gonna snip this right now, which is going right in front of me. Just like that. But it came through, y'all can't lie. So it came through. Um, so I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. Y'all might see that it might get cut a little bit, might get layered. I don't know. I'm just gonna decide, you know, I'm, I'm gonna decide. But anyway, I'm gonna let you guys go. I just wanted to kind of let you know that my synthetic wig arrived. Um, and that, you know, I had some, um, I guess some cons about it, but I had some pros about it too. Like I said, it's not a bad wig, you guys. It is soft. It's soft. So I definitely, you know, can see myself wearing it. It's just that I'm going to have to figure out now how to get this to lay because in being so in a rush and being upset about my baby hair, um, you know, I'm going to have to either probably, now the pin on my got to be glue gel to like hold it down because I cut off a lot of the lace. So you guys, this is it. 24 inches worth of hair, which is a lot of hair, but I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, and that's pretty much it you guys so i hope you liked it and um if you need me to put the vendor in the box which i'm going to do anyway um i will do that so don't even worry about it i'm going to do it um and like i said i'm going to do an update hopefully if not tomorrow the next day but it's going to be an update and it's going to be a total transformation so just be ready okay so it is moving right now a little bit but that's because like i said a lot of lace but i'm gonna work on all of this trust me you guys i'm good with wigs so y'all just be on the lookout um and don't forget you guys if you're not a subscriber to subscribe to my channel because i want you guys to not miss this transformation of this wig it's going to be totally totally different and i know y'all probably thinking why did she order this in 24 inches and now she's talking about she's gonna chop it but sometimes you have to chop your wigs you have to do things to make it conform to your face so it is what it is okay um so anyway you guys please subscribe to my channel because i don't want y'all to miss it and until then we'll see y'all next time bye, -bye.